Hello everyone, this is your tutor AB. Today we're going to be solving a problem from the IB Physics HL examinations. This is a paper 3 question from the November 2020 exam. This relates to the topic of rigid body mechanics or, it, or, or as it used to be called engineering fix, physics. This used to be an optional topic. Okay. A solid sphere of radius R and mass M is released from rest and rolls down a slope without slipping. The vertical height of the slope is h. The moment of inertia i of the sphere about an axis through its center is 2 by 5 mr square. Show that the linear velocity v of the sphere as it leaves the slope is root of 10 g h over 7. Okay, so how can we solve this problem? This problem can be solved using the principle of the conservation of energy. Okay, so how can this be applied into this scenario? We know that energy is neither created or destroyed. It is merely transferred or converted. In this case, a potential energy is being converted into a kinetic energy as the solid sphere goes down this ramp. Okay, so how can I apply this in this scenario? I know that there is a certain kinetic energy at the top which is being converted into a potential energy or the other way around, it doesn't matter. So the kinetic energy of the sphere has two components to it because it's a rigid body, it has a rotational kinetic energy which I can say as Ek and it has a linear kinetic energy which I can say as Ke. These two kinetic energy components added together will equal my potential energy and this is what the conservation of energy principle states. Your kinetic energy is going to be equal to your potential energy because it's being converted. So let's solve this question using this principle. The formula for rotational kinetic energy is given in your formula booklet. It is half I which is the moment of inertia into omega square which is your uh, omega square which is your a uh, angular velocity plus your kinetic energy is your usual formula half mass into velocity which is v is your linear velocity and this equals to potential energy okay now we know that the moment of inertia for this sphere is 2 by 5 mr square so let's substitute that into this equation we get half Instead of i, I can put 2 by 5 mr square and we don't have any expression for w, right? We don't have any value. So instead of w, I can rewrite w or angular velocity to be v over r whole square. This is given in your data booklet, right? This is just an alternate way of writing angular velocity. Angular velocity can be equal to linear velocity over radius. So this is going to be my statement for my rotational kinetic energy. So this plus half the mass into again linear velocity is going to be equal to mgh. Now I can cancel out m from the equations as they can be taken out and factored out and cancelled. Okay now what else can I do? Let's combine the equation. Let's make it look a bit simple. I can say half r square times v square over r square plus half v square is equal to gh, right? All I did was simplify. Now r square and r square will cancel and now I'll be left with the final statement half v square, I mean 1 by 5th v square plus half v square is equal to gh. Now. I can add up these two fractions and that will be equal to making a common denominator I get 2v square over 10 plus 5v square over 10 is equal to gh. Now I can say 7v square over 10 is equal to gh so 7v square is equal to 10gh v square is equal to 10 gh over 7 
So finally, V is equal to the root of 10 GH over 7. And that's your answer. Have I proven the expression? Let's see. Yeah, that's what they wanted. That's what I got. Okay, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave it down below and I'll answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.